This will be useful for deep holes that have become horizontal. If you are drilling down holes while underground, you can reverse these steps to convert a pump-in underground head assembly to the surface configuration. Discover where surface and underground core barrels use compatible outer tube components. Remove the assembly bolt, two-piece lock washer, and spring from the inner tube head assembly using a 10 millimeter or 3.8 socket. Remove the assembly rod from the inner tube head assembly. Depress the latches and pull the retracting case away from the mid-body until the drive key seat is exposed. Insert the drive key, being careful while properly seating the drive key spring. While holding down the drive key, depress the latches and slide the retracting case forward into place. Insert the assembly rod into the retracting case. Align the slot of the assembly rod with the center line of the latch body assembly. Insert the assembly rod into the latch body assembly. Insert the assembly bolt, two-piece lock washer, and spring into the top of the head assembly. While compressing the spring, screw the assembly bolt into place, being careful not to over-torque it. Use two branches to free the latch body from the surface mid-body. Remove the landing indicator ball. Insert the lower assembly rod into the latch body assembly. Insert the assembly bolt and two-piece lock washer into the latch body assembly. Tighten the assembly bolt into place, being careful not to over-torque it. The lower assembly rod acts as a latch lock to ensure the latches stay engaged with the locking coupling. Use two branches to free the surface mid-body from the lower body. Remove the surface mid-body and landing shoulder. Install the underground landing shoulder. Install the underground mid-body, ensuring the landing indicator ball is next to the landing indicator bushing in the lower body. Install the first propulsion seal. Install the seal spacer. Install the second propulsion seal. Thread the latch body assembly into the underground mid-body. Use two branches to tighten all components of the inner tube head assembly. You have successfully completed the head assembly conversion from surface to underground.